James 5 4 6. For behold, the pay of the laborers who mowed your fields, and which has been withheld by you, cries out against you, and the outcry of those who did the harvesting has reached the ears of the Lord of armies. 5 You have lived for pleasure on the earth and lived luxuriously, you have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. 6 You have condemned and put to death the righteous person, he offers you no resistance. The Holy Word of God is totally against oppression and people being mistreated for any reason whatsoever. The Torah required that anyone who does work for you be paid for their labor. Deuteronomy 24 14 You shall not exploit a hired worker who is poor and needy, whether he is one of your countrymen or one of your strangers who are in your land in your towns. 15 You shall give him his wages on his day before the sun sets, for he is poor and sets his heart on it, so that he does not cry out against you to the Lord, and it becomes a sin in you. Most people of biblical times knew servants were taken care of by the ones they worked or labored for. Some servants were bond, bonded labor, this is someone who would work to pay off a debt and this kind of service still exists in parts of Asia. Most of the time when people are oppressed it is done by a culture of people who feel superior over other people and it is a very old part of world history. Exodus 1 13 The Egyptians used violence to compel the sons of Israel to labor, 14 And they made their lives bitter with hard labor in mortar and bricks and at all kinds of labor in the field, all their labors which they violently had them perform as slaves. When President Abraham Lincoln wanted to end American slavery, with his introduction of the Emancipation Proclamation, some felt that the African people were subhuman and didn't deserve freedom. The Word of God even from Torah, says give everyone fair treatment even strangers, orphans and widows. Deuteronomy 24 17 You shall not pervert the justice to a stranger or an orphan, nor seize a widow's garment as a pledge. 18 But you are to remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and that the Lord your God redeemed you from there therefore I am commanding you to do this thing. 19 When you reap your harvest in your field and forget a sheaf in the field, you are not to go back to get it, it shall belong to the stranger, the orphan, and to the widow, in order that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. The Lord hears all cries of pain and suffering done to His people, just because we don't see people in chains and forced to labor doesn't mean slavery doesn't exist. Modern-day oppression is done in factories like sweatshops, and sadly children are forced into slavery in the form human traffickings to sex slaves, forced marriages or child soldiers. We can try to fight for world peace and a try to stop worldwide oppression, but sadly brothers and sister it won't happen until the father of lies and murder, is put to death and those who practice his acts of murder and oppression go with him. God bless you all, the Lord Jesus loves you and so do I Samuel Head. Revelation 21 7 The one who overcomes will inherit these things, and I will be his God and he will be my son. 8 But for the cowardly, and unbelieving, and abominable, and murderers, and sexually immoral persons, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death.